Hello everyone, it's Megan Stitch and Moon. This is my channel about cross stitch and today I am doing a whip parade. So now it is what, January 12th, 2024. So I'll be showing basically all my things from 2023 and before. <sighs> yeah, so just some things first off the bat. I, things have been crazy. So <laughs> I think I'm going to do a little bit of an update, but first I want to share an announcement that will affect, well, include you guys too. So I'll do that first. Then I'm going to give a little bit of a life update because I don't know when I'll be back to film again. And then I will get into the whip parade, which is going to be a little all over the place. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll explain why in a minute, but if you don't want to hear all that stuff, you can just skip on over to when I begin to start showing things. Uh, okay, so let's see. First, <laughs> my big announcement is that we finally bought a house. Yay! If you've been with me, you know I've been in this um, apartment for I think now four years. Oh, and if you don't know, I'm living in Norway, but I'm American. And this was supposed to be like a really temporary um, move here when we first moved to Norway. And it's just turned into four years. <laughs> so time has just gone by so fast. But also because I live in such a small town, um, the inventory is very low. And we weren't sure for a while if we were going to stay here or not. So things were just very up in the air. But um, yeah, now there was a house that came back on the market, which was on the market a while ago. But... At that time, it was a lot more expensive, and now the price has actually dropped quite a bit. And I love this house. I call it the dollhouse because it's pink. Not like a bright pink, like a muted pink. And and it, just the way it's like built and shaped. It's, it's old. It was built in like 1942, but it's spacious. Oh, yeah. I didn't even realize my cat is still in here. <laughs> That's Alba back there. I hope she doesn't start crawling all over my stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm so excited. It even has what I can make a craft room, but not, well, it's like half of a craft room because it is kind of between like the hallway and then the kids' playroom. They finally have their own playroom and it's really cute and it's got storage and some space. So that's where I'm going to store all of my stuff. I can even be stitching where, while the kids are playing. And they have to get by me if they want to get out. <laughs> so oh, I'm so excited. And we move in officially, I think the movers come February 20th. So a little over a month. And I've only packed one box. <laughs> <It's>, yeah. <laughs> uh, so we have a lot of things to do. Um, yeah. And they have to uh, move it. Oh yeah, my cat loves to lick plastic. And I have all these plastic... There she goes. <laughs> All these plastic containers. So I think I'm going to just get her out of the room. Um, and there's probably going to be more interruptions during this because my almost three month old son will probably wake up soon to want to eat. <laughs> so, and since this is going to be long, I may have to pause it a few times. So I'll be right back. Okay, back. We are cat free. Now, before I go on and on about the house, <laughs> before I forget, how does this involve you? <laughs> so I have an Etsy shop if you don't know where I make patterns and a lot of them are from pictures that I took around here where I live and I kind of artified them and made them into patterns so I have two that involve houses so those two I'm actually gonna put up for sale we'll do 50% off from now until until probably say move-in date um, so February 20th. So I will have those. I have two. I have one that's called Villa Lorna, which if you've been here, you've probably seen. And I'm actually going to show that in my whip parade. So you'll be, and I got quite a bit done on it. So you'll be able to see what that looks like. That's one of my most popular patterns actually on the whole site. And the other one is called Home Sweet Home. And that is down by um, what they call the Villa Road. <laughs> Basically, it has all these old dragon style houses that are red and just really cool looking so I did one of that so go check that out I'll put the link um, in the description below so 50% off till now till 
this is February 20th, 2024. Okay, I don't have any notes today. I'm telling you, this is just like, a f okay, I have a little bit of time today to film, so let's just get it done. Um, because I have, like I said, a three month old, just a little update on him. Um, Lucas, he is doing well, but over the holidays he had a fever that because he was under three months, they want you to bring him to the hospital and just check everything out um, because it can be something serious if they're that young. So we had to go to this other town that is an hour, almost two hours away, and it was like 10 p.m. So we did that, and then we ended up staying overnight. He was fine. Like, when they checked him out, I mean, he was had a high fever, but he was responding to the treatment and everything and eating and stuff. So we just stayed there overnight, which was such a long night. <laughs> Um, and then could travel back the next day. And that was because we had family visiting from the US. So that was really nice. Um, they stayed over Christmas, but yeah, before that I was sick. My, my daughter had been sick, then they were sick. <sighs> yeah. When you have a baby plus an older sibling in daycare, plus traveling family over the holidays in like flu season, yeah, just forget it. The baby is going to get something. And then he actually got one another fever yesterday because now my husband's brother had been sick and like came over. So yeah, <laughs> it's just, he's okay. We didn't actually have to go to the hospital because he's like so close to three months and he's doing a lot better now. And luckily, hope no more sicknesses. Like, yeah. So what else did I want to say? just for the little life update part. Um, the other reason I've been so busy is um, I've been trying to get my own little businessy thing started because here in Norway, I'm not able to use my profession because, well, I'm a registered dietitian in the US and they're so picky about like who they allow to work over here. Even nurses from the US who have been working with years have to retake education if they want to do that here. And because nutrition, actually, there's so few jobs here in Norway for it, it wouldn't be worth it to take that again. So I'm like, well, I'll just start my own thing online. <laughs> so I'm actually focusing on pregnancy nutrition or prenatal, like those trying to get pregnant or wanting to become pregnant, even in the postpartum period, which I am right now, because um, breastfeeding obviously would have nutritional impact there. So that's what I'm doing. It started on Instagram officially um january 1st so i have some posts now and it's gonna be slow to build but it's a long game so i will if you're interested in that at all or wanting to become pregnant or know somebody i'll put the instagram link or instagram name down below so you can check it out Whew, i'm sorry if i'm talking really fast <laughs> uh okay that's about it. We can get into our whip parade now. Um, I haven't had too much progress since my last whip parade in the summer because of everything that's been going on. Uh, but you know, this is going to give me a chance to go through all my stuff and honestly I don't even remember <laughs> some of the things. So it'll be an opportunity for me to go through and get excited again about all these projects and or make me frustrated that I won't be able to get to a lot of them for a while. Uh, but mostly excited, I hope. Um, and also after this, I'll be able to pack them, except for the ones I wanna work on, which really has just been one lately. <laughs> so I'll show you that one. Just whatever is easiest right now that I can grab in the middle of everything. Okay, so I also don't have anything in order. And I even like just grab the bin that I store everything in. I haven't even gone through them. I took out the things, the full coverages, I took out uh, from their Q-snap so I can show the whole thing. Um, hopefully I didn't miss any, but I might have. So there'll be a little bit of shuffling. I apologize in advance uh, if it takes a little time, but bear with me. If I did, if I had to like go through everything first, then this wouldn't have happened. So yeah, we can get into it. I think I have about 30 odd whips but there are mostly very big projects. <laughs> All right, what's next to me first? We got, this is the screen. Artwork by 
Edvard Munch and charted by Orenko Originals. And I'm also, I'm sorry, not going to have like stats on how many stitches I have or percentages right now. It's just, I don't have time for that right now. Uh, but I can tell you the fabric because I pretty much remember, hopefully. This one is on a 16 count Ada. That is backwards. And this is where I am at. And I think this guy down here is a person coming in. And this is a famous painting, but the artist was Norwegian. So that's one reason why I wanted to do this one. Such bright colors. So if I get bored of the dark, regular, boring, I don't know, blacks or something, then I can pull this one out. But it can only work on it so long because they're so bright, you can kind of get a headache from them. that I haven't done them or not. Maybe I can put them on the floor in front of me. Oops, this is gonna be a mess. <laughs> uh, okay, the next one I have is the Dark Goddess Stitch Along. And I don't have a cover photo because it was a mystery stitch along that is actually already done. I think it was only six months. It started this year, I believe, and was six months. Um, but yeah, I never follow alongs obviously I'm still on the first one <laughs> uh, but I love the the fabric is so pretty and I can't even tell you what the first goddess is I'm sorry <laughs> uh, but it will be back stitched as well um, but I love how the colors are like popping on this fabric which is a 14 count opalescent Ada from the stitchy ferret what is it called I think it might be called midnight or something like that and it was, the fabric was like made specially for this project. And the project, it's designed by Witches Garden Crafts. This one. These are mysteries to me. It's been so long. Ah, yes. One of my oldest whips. This is the Galliana Sampler by Galliana Cross Stitch, and the picture is already wrinkled. Uh, yeah. This was on her shop on Etsy, and um, it's from things around like 2020, like the pandemic. So I highlighted all the things that have to do with that. They were like hidden in the picture and I'm stitching those actually in another color. So I'll have two different colors. This is also on a 16 count Ada. I have pretty far along on this one. I always hold it the wrong way. So let me see this one. <laughs> the needle is still stuck in. And that's where I'm at. The colors don't come out quite bright in here, but you can see like there's the reddish and the purplish. And the reddish is the ones where it's like the hidden thing. So you can see the COVID molecule keep two meters apart, which it was the guy line in Europe. Oh, I think this is Australian. This is a kangaroo representing the fires that happened that year in Australia. Oh yeah, and then this key, I can't tell that's like the red, but it is for like lockdowns and stuff. So I'm really liking how that's coming out. It reminds me of like a smaller version of a long dog. <laughs> so if you're not quite up to that, that's gonna be a good one. So if you're interested in where these things are what like the patterns are you may want to take notes like I'm not gonna be able to write them all in the description but if there's something that you're wondering about just feel free to put it in the comments or you can 
message me Stitching Moon at Stitching Moon on Instagram. That I did, I felt like working on this winter, but so far. But it's a dimensions, even though it's a petite, it's like you have to concentrate on these, and like there's a lot of threads you have to like blend and do different strands, and I just didn't have the capacity for that right now. So this is a uh, kiss for snow, for a kiss for snowman. Gold dimensions, gold collection petite from. I'm sorry for the wrinkles in these as well. They've been folded up for a while. <laughs> Here's where I'm there. I haven't done any of the back stitch yet, but it still looks really good. I love this one. It's so cute. There's gonna be a lot of French knots for the snowflakes, but I don't mind that. Oh yeah, another thing I didn't mention, I have like a microphone now that I'm using on my uh, phone, which I hope makes the sound better. Um, it's my first time really using it, um, besides one reel that I did for my new uh, business. Um, so I hope it, it works out okay. <laughs> All right, let's fold it this way. I don't have a cover photo for, but um, you may have seen it. Or some other people stitching it. It is a design by Kaylee Tent Stitch. It's called Snuggle Up Nomies. It's cold outside, is what it's going to say. I think this is direction because I don't have like much features on it, so I always forget which direction it is. So I don't have much. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think this is going to be like the sleeve of an arm. Yeah, so I think this is on, uh, was it 25 count minimum? But it was just like one from like Walmart or something. I don't remember. And it's a very bluish. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, it looks more white in the camera, but it's a light bluish that kind of matches like what's in that beard there. Suki the brown stitcher finished it. I know Alara is also working on it. I'm not sure how far along she is. Farther than me, if you want to see. And oh yeah, her shop is uh, the sewing shop.ca. Okay, another mystery one. Um, let's see. Oh, <laughs> this was my own little design that uh I charted because, so I had lived in Boston for about a year when I did an internship there and I took the T, the subway system, every day, all around. I didn't have a car. So a lot of my memories are just like taking that <laughs> subway system and I just thought it'd be cool to chart the map <laughs> because, I don't know, I think it'd be cool. So I charted it. <laughs> And I only put, even though there's a ton of words still on there, I took out the ones that I didn't really have a meaning for me. But all these do, so <laughs> I'll be back stitching all those words. Not very interesting stitching, but when it's done, it'll be cool. And it's on 22 count. So let's see. Hardinger, maybe? Or this direction? This way? No. Oh, so I started on the yellow. Or orange. It's an orange line, but on the map it's like yellow ish. Still have some more of the red, but I kind of 
just wanted to go ahead and do it over in color. So there's that. from a DMC kit. Flower fairies. They have a whole collection of these. This one is the pink fairies. I love the colors and how it's like that vintagey look. I think it'd be so cute eventually in my daughter's room. By then she'll probably be a teenager though. And it came, I'm doing all the kit stuff, which are, yeah, 16 count the, uh, there's going to be a ton of back stitching in this, which I haven't put in yet, but the starter and flowers. Probably haven't been going close enough, I don't know, lately. So I'll try and get a little closer so you can see. Moving right along. Sorry, <laughs> just hit the camera. Another kit we have here from RTO. Ooh, that's sticking to the project bag. And it's called Forest Heartbeat. Sorry for the glare. This is all, this is on 14 count Ada. And this one uses blends as well. I'm loving it. Loving how our face is looking. And the colors of the trees and the forest. It always, this one always reminds me of where I'm living now. It's got like just the pine trees, except there's more mountains here, but. Getting into the wolf over there. That one's fun to work on. Try and fold them in like opposite ways so that they don't get stuck in that position. Sorry, this is a little tough to put back. <laughs> Okay. Now. Oh, this is the one I have been working on lots because it is convenient, easy to grab, just a paper pattern that's simple to follow so I don't even have to highlight it. Plus, it is for my son. <laughs> So you've seen this one if you're on my Instagram quite a bit. There's the picture. It's a bad picture, but it's from Historical Sampler Company. Um, and it is called A is for Arc Birth Sampler. It's in the hoop, so let me just in the hoop so it's easy to grab. Let me just take it up so I can show you. on a 32 count linen that came in the kit. So here I am. I love it when it's like all together. Each individual block I'm like not super impressed with, but when I like look at it all together, I really like it. So I think last time I show I was maybe in the middle of the lighthouse, I'm not sure. And then I did um, Oh, this is N numbers. I really like that one blocks and I did the flamingo and butterflies and kind of that so that's where his name and everything is gonna go and the mermaid so yeah oh no I think the needle just fell out <laughs> I've gone through so many needles in this project like 
for some reason this fabric does not hold needles no matter like I just had a good size for it it just fell out my needle minder keeps falling off of it I just have a hard time with needles on this project so I hope I can find it later Ugh. but yeah it's cute they have some interesting choices for the letters like U <laughs> a U for E you would have thought elephant but you know probably get some more progress on this one which is nice if I can just kind of finish it up hope I find that needle I stole that needle from my other project so yeah hmm. just get that there next is ooh, my latest full coverage that I started or I, like him in an art design. Uh, it is called Magic Moonlight by Selena French. Love the colors in that one, and oh, I can't wait to get to those berries. And I miss, I was missing a lot of colors for this one. Um, so, but when my mom came to visit in November, she brought most of the ones I was missing. So right now I only have 9.39 and a 3.10 in it. All right. Oh, I need to, so it's on 25 count even, or yeah, easy guide. <laughs> and this is two over one half cross. Pretty good coverage for the black and the 939 for half cross. Yeah, that's a fun one. It was going really fast just because this was basically all, no, it was all 939 and uh, 310. So that went really quick, especially doing the half cross. Long. No, it's not stitch along, sorry. Just the Advent Animals by a Brooks Books. And I was kind of doing a stitch along with Stephanie, the on point stitcher, who finished hers like I was supposed to do this year until things got crazy. So hers looks awesome if you want to go see her channel. And she fully finished it. So that's amazing. And she did some changes in it. This is the needle I stole from my other one. But anyway, I made it to number 19. And I started at the beginning of the year, so 19 in the year, that's not bad, I'll take it. And these are free patterns from Brooks Books that come individually, and I'm putting them all together. Oh yeah, so it looks so cute all together. So let me go and close on like, maybe I'll go and close on each row. And this is on the called for fabric, which is 28 count babbling brook Jobelin. And this other thing is called for. And there we are. I'm not sure where I was in my last video that I showed this, but I've completed that line. And I think it's Larry Lion was his name for 19. I like that giraffe. <laughs> so hopefully we'll be able to finish it by next Christmas. Stitch along 
Destiny Moon Stitch Along, so I don't have what it looks like. And it's from the Little Stitcher shop on Etsy. I really love her shop. I have a lot of her patterns. Yeah, I'm still on January. I had to, this was a restart um, because I didn't like my fabric before, but I love this one, how it pops all the, because there's going to be a ton of that color. 3865, is it? Um, tons of it. So I wanted this dark fabric so it popped. And I got it on 123 Stitch. It's a super soft Ada that is 16 count. And I think it is, okay, it is called Mystic. But look at that. This is the January Wolf Moon. And we're in January. It came back around full circle a year later. I'm still in January. <laughs> but yeah, I'm this is going to look so good. And there's 13 moons because even though there's 12 months in a year, the blue moon comes every three or four years. So um, there'll be a 13th moon, which will make it not quite even. But on the bottom, I'll do like one extra in the middle. So, yeah. I'm not going to forget to show this one this time. This one, I always forget to show on my whip parade. <laughs> but I have it here. It is my heirloom piece that I really haven't worked on this year much. But um, this one is huge. And it was, so my husband's great-grandmother started this when she was 93 or 90. She passed away at 93. But she started this tablecloth, um, very traditional Scandinavian design, and um, she never got to finish it. So his grandmother, who can't really stitch anymore, found out that I did cross-stitching, so she passed it along to me to do. And yeah, it's um, very big. The only thing is, the kit, um, it's like a yarn. It's still DMC. Um, but it's like a yarn and I know there's not going to be enough colors because I have to do this design on both sides of the tablecloth. Um, and I don't have like a picture of it, didn't come with one. But uh, here is where I'm at. And I know there are some errors in here which makes me not want to work on it because I get stressed out that I'm ruining it. But, um, and I don't have enough yarn to like rip anything out so I'm going with it and hoping that it can work out okay there's also some floss like a gold that's not in the kit it's missing but it has the number so I'll have to be contacting the company at some point to see if I can get it or substitute something because in like all here and stuff is that gold color and a lot like in here but I know there's something off like by a stitch up or down in that area and it's gonna, that person's going to be feeding the deer and you can see the hand there um, but I think I even did the hand in the wrong color like yeah so that's why I'm just not I'm like worried that I'm going to ruin it which is why I don't want to work on it but it is really cute and then I'll have to do that all along the other side too so she stitched, she started a little bit on one of the deer and then she stitched this border all the way around. Thank God, I don't want to do that. And there's one of these in each of the four corners that she did. She had perfect counting at 90. <laughs> it's amazing. So, very bulky to fold back up. That's my try. not a very good fold. I'm going to have to redo that. <laughs> okay. Next we have my first 
first full coverage that I did or started and again wrinkly picture but it's this one children on the beach artwork by Mary Cassatt charted by cross stitch collectibles and this picture has like a sentimental meaning for me so that's why I picked that one and it's on an 18 count Ada full cross two over one yeah full cross and that's where I am this one's really fun to work on love how her hair came out and now I'm working down this way so you'll be able to see more of her hopefully soon and this is the start of her little shovel down there there's a lot lot, lot of sand to do um, but it's not tons of confetti so it's not bad there was a lot of confetti in the rocks up here and in her hair but look at that the shine oh I love it sorry my itchy nose <laughs> okay and the little boat up there. I like how it takes on that effect of like the watery color of painting. There's still more before I get to the bin. Okay, this one. This one that's gonna be my masterpiece. I really want, this is gonna take forever, but I wanna get it done because I want this hanging on my wall in the living room someday. There it is. Home in the Mountains or Rivendell from The Lord of the Rings by Golden Kite. And it is just gorgeous. I love the colors. And I got the regular size, which is the biggest, and blends. You can get it without blends too. But I got the blends, and there's like 70 of them. This is definitely my biggest piece with the most colors. It is uh, 346,500 stitches. So 700 by 495. And I forget how many colors, but like, well, there's like maybe a hundred something, but because of the blends, if you count those as like extra colors, it's like 200 something. And then you can see over here, the fellowship walking across the bridge. I absolutely love the Lord of the Rings movies and I'm, I've read all the books, but now I'm rereading them because I was young and I don't think I got that much out of them. So I'm rereading them. I'm just, I did the Hobbit and now I'm on the fellowship of the ring I'm more than halfway through that one. Slow going, but just because of all the stuff that I have to do. So, oh yeah, let me actually show you. <laughs> it is in the Q-snap, but I don't have to take it out because this is all I have. Um, mm -hmm. So this is also on 25 count, two over one tent stitch or half stitch. Look at that, I love it. It took a long time. There's a lot of confetti and blends in this area but I know there are some spots that don't have as many and I'm getting into I think a little bit less now but I love 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 how it's turning out I want to say I'm at like two percent now and I love those yellows I'm getting into it is and contrasted with the blues in this it's just gonna be so pretty yeah this one you have to concentrate on a lot Ugh, it's getting loose in this frame but um so when we move to my new house i am hoping since i'll have like a room upstairs that i can kind of have as my my space um i want to leave like just do my stand projects like my full coverages up there and then for downstairs like watching tv at night or whatever i'll have more of the non full coverages and just do those there so i'll have like separate spaces that I can do them in. That's gonna be so nice. Okay. Here we are. Okay, another full coverage. This one is the one that's on sale in my shop soon. Um, Phil Warna, my own design. 
Stitching Moon Design. Um, and here it is. I think it's 200 something thousand stitches. So the count here is not right, but it is right now in my shop. So you can go and see the real count there. <laughs> and this is in my town, a Swiss villa, well, Swiss style villa. It's in Norway, obviously. Um, that is just gorgeous. So yeah. Part of it used to be an Airbnb, but it's not listed there anymore. So I don't think it is anymore. But it is just gorgeous. I would love to like take a tour of it one time. Maybe when I'm done this, I can go up to the owner and be like, look what I did. Let me in. <laughs> and this one I'm pretty far on. It goes quick because it's only 45 colors. And I'm doing it half stitch. Two over one. Half crossed. And um, what was I going to say? I don't know. Yeah, I love how it's coming out. For 45 colors, the detail is really good. I'm working down here now, so the porch is coming along. I only did, so I think I picked this back up when um, we made the decision to stay here and bought the house. And I think I only did three days maybe on it, and I had been like up here, and I'm already, I've already got all that filled in and been up here, I think. So it goes really quick. And there are some other people working on this, I know, as well. So this one, if you want it, go and grab it now, between now and February 20th for half off. Um, yeah, that's fun. I do want to focus on this one more now that we have a house and we're staying here for, we don't know, forever, because it's such a small place, but at least for the next several years. So. Yeah. Okay, I'll just put that one back on the Q-snap. Alright. Uh, other full coverage that are just as fresh off the Q-snap, so it probably has lines in it. And this one is another Heaven and Earth design. Called Together, artwork by Jim Warren. This was my first Heaven and Earth design that I started, and really only my second one. <laughs> I only have two on the go right now, but I have tons of patterns and things that I eventually want to start. And this one is uh, 625 by 496. So it's my second biggest, and it's 87 colors. I show these I lose needles I even put it I put the needle on the back now of the needle minder because it's stronger but I just lost it again like I'm gonna find needles in my bed <sighs> okay anyway here is where it is hey I also love the details on this one like the shading and everything and how it's flowing or blending and this one is also on 25 count and this one is one over one full cross. And I'm starting now on this side and you can see the lighter colors coming in and then soon I'm gonna get to that house. Yay, another house. That's really nice. But I love how it, like the effect of like the lighting looks in this, it's really nice. I want to say it's around like 12%. Okay, uh, what next? Ooh, I'm surprised I haven't been interrupted yet. Now it's pretty good. Uh, he's probably sleeping more because he's fighting off that sickness. My husband's up there with him. Oh my god, I would like to stretch. Uh, 
Now I get to my bin. Oh, speaking of, I think I hear, I think I hear him. He might be coming down. Let's see if I can get to one more. Nope, they're coming down. So I'm gonna pause this, and I will get to my bin. Okay, back. Let's keep going before it's time for me to go pick up my daughter from daycare. <laughs> All right. This one. Where's the picture? I just saw it. Here it is. Okay, this one is from Lindy Stitches. What is it called? It doesn't say, but it's a poem. Is it William Butler Yeats? I want to say and it says but I being poor have only my dreams I have spread my dreams under your feet tread softly because you tread on my dreams yeah it's called tread softly and this one I'm using the called for threads that include some specialty ones from I think weeks dye works and one other maybe but um the fabric is similar but not the same that they call for it's a witch elt believe <laughs> i don't know the name of it that owl's got a lot of stitching but it's a very stiff stiff fabric that's scratchy so i don't like it but it looks nice i think it's a is it a Looks like maybe a third, a thirty-two count. I think. Not smaller than that because I don't do anything smaller than that, or I haven't yet. Eventually. Okay, where am I gonna put these? I just put them behind me. Okay, this one. Lots of zippers. Okay. Another cross stitch collectibles. Cafe Terrace. I think the full name is really Cafe Terrace at Night. Artwork by Van Gogh. And I love this because it reminds me of where a place my honey my my husband and I went on our honeymoon and this one you can get a larger version I'm doing the smaller version because I liked how it looked more like a painting on my usual 25 count easy guide also a two over one half stitch but I'm not very far on it doesn't look like much yet there was a lot of confetti in that upper corner. The colors aren't, well, I guess it's not very colorful yet, but yeah, can't really see much yet. This one's like a, and a pain to get in and out of the bag because it's not a great bag for it with all the colors. Okay. further along on. I really want to see more progress, but I just haven't had the ability really to take it out and work on it because it is kind of complicated to get started, but I love this one. It's Dimensions Gold Collection Fall Fairy. I just love the colors. Artwork by what's her name? She does also the Heaven and Earth design. Ruth Sanderson, yeah. I'm 
really feeling like working on this, but again, just haven't been able to take it out. So I'm just there. Love it. And it's on the kit stuff, 16. 16 count. Ada, yes. feel like I should be further along on um, but it was also a restart um, it is Scorpio by Nora Corbett my sun sign I have all of their all of her zodiac signs and I have big plans for them that I want to do my sun sign my rising sign and my moon sign and the same for my daughter This was my restart on really pretty fabric. It's uh, fabric. So pretty. It's a 32 count opalescent. Um, I think it's called Full Bloom um, from XG Design. And I love how this she's popping out on that. And I'm using the Karen Water Lilies with part of it as well, like in the dress and her tiara thing. I'm trying to make it, because it's variegated, so I'm trying to make it so the purples, like the darkest parts, come out here, because otherwise it might just blend in. So I'm hoping that her dress will be visible. <laughs> but I just really like how the skin is coming out, and I wasn't crazy about it on just the neutral linen. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, this is a nice one. This was my focus piece for quite a bit of 2023 that I wanted to finish this year, but again, you know, my plans didn't go according to plan. But this is Design Works Kit, Queen of Silk. Really, so much prettier than the picture. It has beads, it has um, blending filament slash crinic. Really big. <laughs> it's on a 14 count Ada. A soft Ada. And here she is. Yeah, so I'm gonna go up close. Oh, then I can't really see what I'm showing you, but. Her sparklies in her crown. They don't show up well on camera, but they look really nice in person. So I'm starting to backstitch that and just work my way down. Can't see what I'm showing you. I'm trying to do backstitch as I go. Those are like wings of a bird coming in. And there's some sparklies in here too. Yep. Some little colors and details that have come in. Yeah. Please don't lose my little hat. <laughs> so yeah. Because I was focusing on her because she's my oldest whip, but from 2021, and I wanted to get my oldest ones, like, go in order of my oldest ones as focus pieces. So hopefully she will become my focus piece again when I have the time. I don't really have plans for 2024 with everything that's going on, and I may be going back to school in the fall on top of everything else and work that I don't like. Um, yeah, so I'll just do my best. Okay. This one is 
kind of like a companion piece to the Dark Goddess Sal in a way. It's the Tarot Stitch Along, also by Witches Garden Crafts. And I have a picture. It was a stitch along, I think, in 2022. Of all the tarot cards. Oh, in the Major Arcana. Order. Surprise, surprise. Oh. And this was a fabric also from Witches Garden Crafts. 14 count opalescent. Oh, that's not cool. <laughs> Daguerreotype Ada, which I love this fabric so much. Um, yeah, so I'm just working the border first to get the whole thing, whole border done before I do the cards. So that'll take a while, but <laughs> that's all right. Everything will take a while. All right. I feel like there's a lot of silence in this video as I put things away. <laughs> Embroidery, 100 owls. I got the kit, which it was from Russia, so don't think you can get that now. And um, I got their flosses, which it variegated, which are gorgeous. I love them. And the fabric is a 32 count limestone. And this is so pretty with the variegated floss. I just love, love, love how it's coming out. Yay. I have five owls out of a hundred. And they have a paper, I'm using the paper pattern where you can cut out different sections. And that's why there's some things cut off from the other sections because I'm just doing it section by section, but yeah, those will fill in eventually. Their needle minders are awesome. They're so strong. I love them. And they're really cute. And they came free, like with the kit. So really nice. I'm doing this for my daughter. It's by the Prairie Schooler. Three Billy Goats Gruff. <laughs> oh, it's starting to snow. Um, so yeah, just because she likes the story, that it's a big story here in Norway. So you have um, down here, it says sniff, snuff, snout. This tale's told out. And in Norwegian, it's snip, snop, snuta, noa, eventira, uta. <laughs> Same kind of meaning. And the trip trap of the bridge. It's a lot of goats to stitch, and they're pretty big or solid. So, yeah. It's, oops. This actually comes with another pattern as well. Let me see if I can. Oh yeah, the back. Yeah, this one too. That's really cute. With the little troll on top of the bridge. So maybe I will, I'll probably end up doing that one for my son one day. Probably when he's no longer interested in those things, but you know. And it's on the called for lambswool linen, 32 count. 
out. Look how big. Um, okay, I'm gonna just itch my eye. I'm sorry. <laughs> there I am. Good one, Billy Goat. Love, love this needle minder. It's from Nana, the Crafty Shield Maiden on Floss Tube and Etsy, although I don't think she ha does her Etsy shop anymore, but she has a lot of minders to sell. by the Blue Flower Moonlight Sampler. And I love the poem here. Though my soul may set in darkness, it will rise in perfect light. I have loved the stars too fondly to be fearful of the night. And it has all the nocturnal animals in it. And I don't like the fabric called for fabric or the fabric that they used, so I got um, Kaylee from Kaylee Cut Stitch, the sewing doc, sewing shop dot ca, to make me um, a custom one, and it's perfect. Um, let's see. It's I love it for this project. It's so good. Um, yeah, here it is. It's a thirty-two count. Yeah, here's the fabric. Oh. She even painted some like strokes, like silvery strokes, so it's like moonlight. And I love the way the colors pop on this. So pretty. And I'm using the called for flosses, which has some specialty flosses. Oh, variegated. I love it. Oh, the snow. We have so much snow. Actually, a crazy thing <laughs> that happened. Um, so first there was a lot of rain that washed away the snow we had before Christmas, like a few days before my family was coming for Christmas. I'm like, oh no, it's not gonna be a white Christmas after all. And then, oh, and there was tons of rain. And actually what happened was there was avalanche warnings which usually it happens like along the roads to get here, but this was in the actual town and they sent out a warning through text, like we may have to evacuate the town, get ready. <laughs> and we're like, what? So, um, the also, yeah, it sucked because the house, we just bought the house and it was in the area where they actually did evacuate because that was like at risk for avalanches with all the rain after the snow. Uh, luckily, you know, every, nothing happened. There was no avalanches. They didn't have to evacuate the rest of the town, but that was scary. And then right after that, tons of snow, like the most snow I've seen at one time here in these four years that I've been here, like three feet of snow over a few days. And it was nice because my family got to be here for that. And they landed in Bergen, which is like a four hour drive, but you don't have to drive because there's a boat that goes. So they, had, they just took the boat and it was great. Lots of snow. It just looked so like a Christmassy little quaint town. It was so nice. Okay, moving on. Oh no, that's not one. That's just some thinking it up. a gecko rouge kit she wanted the rainbow artwork by lindy gasco she wanted the rainbow so she put up with the rain i love that i love the artwork huh, my daughter would be into this now she's all about rainbows she's she'll be four in march and she knows we're moving to the new house and she saw it it's like right down the road everything here is right down the road so that's nice and um, 
we told her she could like pick a color for her room and she's like i want a rainbow room we'll see how that works So just some patterns in here. So I'm not sure how many actual, is this my last whip? This may be my last one. Hope I didn't miss any. But yeah, I think this is my last one. A big one. Okay, this is Artisy pattern. San Fran. Artwork by David McQueen and it's the large version love this pattern with the houses <laughs> as you can tell I like houses <laughs> and the moon I like the cityscape in the background and then there's like the garden in front it's so nice yeah and that's the picture of the painted ladies the famous houses in San Francisco and it's on my famous 25 count two over one tight stitch good those buildings look love it there's a lot of confetti in those buildings but they're worth it with how they're coming out it's so nice and against the sky there's some nice stars yeah so nice and down here i'm gonna be getting to like a roof that's like mostly black but but yeah that's so nice so pretty all my whips. I don't know if, if you were keeping count, let me know how many I actually have. <laughs> but they are really like all big. I don't even have any little ones right now. What would be my smallest one? I don't even know. Hmm. Like I feel like, well, size wise, I think that snowman one is my smallest one, but I mean it's a lot of stitching. It's <laughs> dimensions gold for coverage. That me, uh -huh. I don't know what my smallest is. All right, I just got an Apple Watch for Christmas, and it just told me to stand. Uh oh, I gotta put the pattern back. Well, now I will be standing because I have a lot to put away, <laughs> and hopefully get some things organized for packing. A lot of patterns in there oh my gosh like as I go through all this and then see how many more that I want to start and how many patterns I have it's it's overwhelming and the kits the kits that's right I got new kits since <laughs> since you last saw me this was I got two actually that maybe I can go and show you um but I have to find them and pull them out oh uh, maybe that'll be in my next floss too. But I did get two more dimensions kits after watching um, a kit parade by. Oh, oh no, I'll have to link her below because I am blanking on that. But I was watching um, her per kit parade as I was like trying to soothe my baby to sleep and saw like some. I just got inspired again. So I haven't bought kits in a while and I was like, no, I don't need any more kits. I'm not buying them. But I found some I really liked and then something happened like a few days later where I was so upset about something. I can't even remember. My memory is just so bad. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I was just, um, I think it might have been where I found, found out that my um, where my nutrition, like, what do you call it? It wasn't approved here, my license. <laughs> so I was so mad and I just, I was like, I'm, I'm shopping, I'm buying some of these kits. So I found, um, a couple that I really liked for big deals on eBay and then one more actually I had sent to my mom. So three in total that I got, but so, but I, I did really good this year. My goal was not to spend more money on stitching except for like getting supplies that I needed for things I already had. And I did stick with that mostly. I did get a few kits, but way better 
way less spending than I did in the previous year. And I had a little bit coming in from my shop and stuff, so that was cool. Um, I do have a Ko-fi link below for anyone who wants to support the channel, and I know some of you have, and I so appreciate that. That really helps and helps enable my uh, spending on cross-stitch. But no, going forward, I do want to keep limiting my spending on cross-stitch and just doing what I have. I don't have enough time to do most of what I have now, so yeah, I need to stop. And that, like in this new little space, it's a small little space I'll have for my um, like craft room, so I can't outgrow that. I made a deal with my husband that I can have as much as I want as long as it stays in that room, so everything I have has to fit in that room. <laughs> um, so yeah, that I think is all. Um, make sure you check out my shop for 50% off of those two house patterns to celebrate. And yeah, I, oh, next time I see you actually, I could be in my new house. We'll see, we'll see. Probably, because I don't think I'll be working on too many new things until then, probably just the same one for my son, because again, it's just easier to grab. Plus I'll be packing like all this stuff. So yeah, probably the next time I film will be in the new house. So maybe I can show you um, what my new stitchy area looks like when that's all set up. So thank you for bearing with this kind of disorganized whip parade. And let me know again if you want to see something or you're not sure if I went too fast through something, then just feel free to comment or message me. All right, I will see you when I see you. <laughs>